And what's up, everyone? And I'm coming at you with another episode of Let's Play Ape Escape. This is like take three of this video, by the way. In the last episode, we found out that Spectre is wanting to take over time and basically alter the, team, alter the course of history. In this episode, we will go a little bit further into this, uh, into this game. But before I do that, I actually left something in 1-2. Well, I didn't leave it. I actually forgot it. And that something is gold and shiny. Let's go! That something would be a spectre token, and it's actually underneath this floating island. I don't know how an island that heavy would float. It's right over here. Alright, now we got that. Let's get the hay out of here. We have no more... We have no business here anymore. Sorry if the music is uh, sounds like it's skipping in certain amount of places. Um, I'm trying to do this as the best as I can. This is as best as I can get it so far. So, anyways, welcome to Molten Lava, Stage One Three. <gasps> uh, excuse me. This is this probably has one of my favorite tracks in the game. This stage also introduces pits. By pits, I mean this over here. If you fall off there, you lose a t-shirt. Yeah. So you don't want to fall off there. Anyways, what we got up here is another monkey. Easy going. Oh, you are a jerk. Come here. Come here, you. Octorok wannabe. I swear, he's just he's just like an Octorok. He fires a uh, he fires rocks at you. He's a basically he's a green Octorok. Albeit, I don't know what the rest of his body looks like because it's on the ground, but it's a green Octorok. So apparently, Octoroks did exist in the past. Nice to know that. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get the Spectre token and not fall off to our death because that would be that would be pretty bad. Anyways, what do I got over here? Got a pterodactyl nest and a monkey who just decided to beat the crap out of me. Alright, so we got two. We should get three, and what the hell? Was that Aerodactyl? Did I just see an Aerodactyl over there? I don't know if y'all saw that, but... It... Yeah, there it was again! Up there! It was like a gray, uh... It looked like Aerodactyl, almost. Yeah. Nice try. You couldn't run away. You couldn't run away at all. Because you suck. Because you can't run. You can't run from Spike. Spike's gonna get ya. Spike's gonna get ya. Yes, he is. Okay, I don't even know where I started that. That was weird. Anyways. Yeah, thanks for saying what I was about to say. But basically, he wanted to just get this thing to hit his hit his head, uh, to hit his head. Uh, shoot, I don't know how many times you gotta do it, but basically, what you gotta do, you just gotta play bullfighting with him and knock the monkey on off his back. He must have a lot of problems. I mean, he's got a monkey on his back. Come on. Why I didn't just get trampled there is beyond me. Doesn't matter. The 
The monkey is down. And this level is done. Yes. Anyways. How have you all been today? Today is November the 15th. This is my fourth time recording this. You did great. This is my fourth time recording this. I actually had a little bit of a sound glitch problem. Hopefully I think I got it fixed for the most part. And might skip around every now and then, like minor skips, but overall we should be alright. Alright. With that, we have finished World 1. As we go into the Mysterious Age, World 2! The Thick Jungle. Let's do this. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! Here's a monkey radar. It'll help you track those monkeys down. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Okay, let's get two things straight here, Professor. Let's go! It won't be dangerous for me because I know how to use the thing because I've played this game before. And second, why do I need training for a freaking radar? It's not that hard to use. All you gotta do on the PlayStation on a PlayStation controller, on a DualShock, is move around the right analog stick, and that's how you use it. And if a monkey head appears, that means there's a monkey there. And I think this is randomized. And I think there is... What? Oh, it's over here. And I think if you select if you select the wrong one, you actually uh, you actually activate a bomb and you have to start all over again. Anyways, anyways, let's go on to stage two. Why not? Or world two rather. Oh wait, Spike, you are now on your way to the mysterious time of the jungle ruins. You must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen before. Go on to explore the temple ruins. But be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying fields of vision, so in most cases you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly if you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. We're counting on you. Hello, Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it should have been from the beginning. Spectre, what ha who, what's going on here? What are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours, this peak point helmet, and it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now, I plan to rule the world. And I owe it to you, Professor. Spectre, you must listen to me carefully. It's true that the Peak Point Helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the Peak Point Helmet back to me immediately. Bring it back? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. There's no stopping us now. The future is mine! <laughs> Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. 
I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> huh. Spike will find you. Just wait. You'll see. We're not gonna stand around and let you take over. Spike? That little runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Jake! Jake. <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. What's happening? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it! Pull yourself together! Can you hear me? It's no use. Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. I'm in control, and no one, no one can stop me, especially not you. Well, I've got to go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Kind of like how in that cutscene, uh, profess the professor, when he first sees Jake, he's like, Jake. Like, he doesn't even really care about Jake. I mean, look, I mean, just listen to it again. He's just like, he's just, Jake. Anyways. Welcome to stage 2-1. Let's go! The Thick Jungle. And Blizz... Yeah. I know you mentioned in the thread that this, uh, that this game is weird. Check out this stage. Oh, I hit that thing. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, you are a jerk, you B. Where are you, B? Let me get some more cookies. There, you want this one? Yep. Oh, wow. Teamwork for the loss? Wow. Come here, you. Come on! Gotcha. There we go. I, li I like the music here. Well, I like this whole soundtrack. They did a he did a really good job with this soundtrack. I mean, a really good job. So, uh, let's see. Alright, I'm at 13 minutes right now. Let's see how long it'll take me to complete this stage. How many monkeys do I got? One? Just one? Just one? Crap, I don't want to have to cut off in the middle of the stage. What the? Oh. Hello. I did not see you there at first. Oh, wait, I think this was the one I was initially chasing. Why do I keep walking right into that? Ugh, get back here! Gotcha! Alright, there we go. I think now we can move on to the next area, which I believe is over here. No, it's not. That, it's in the water. I think it's actually over this way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey, Blizz, check this out. See that monkey up there with the black pants? See what he's holding? See what he just fired at me? Oh, crap. Wow. First death of the game. First death of the game. And a uh, uh, crap load of lag. Great. Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, I've got full health now. Oh, you are a jerk! Get over! There, I win. You lose. Alright, let's see. 15 minutes! Oh my god! I'm at 15 minutes! Well, there's that life I lost earlier. Alright, this place scared the bejesus out of me as a kid, and it's mainly because of that guy over there. That catfish scared the heck out of me as a kid. I mean, it's really just because of how it looks. But yeah, the, uh, I don't really like the robot controls here. I mean, because you can hold it down like that and uh, spike will row on his own. But if you really want, like, precision control, you really need to whirl, uh, rotate the sticks around. That's what he said? I don't know. Anyways, we're safe from the catfish over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and get out of the boat. Anyways. There we go. I was open the... Ah, I already screwed it up. Open the gate up and book it under the gate. There we go. I'm gonna be, a li be really quiet. Yeah, he didn't even real. He didn't even recognize me. Okay, he recognized me when I came out of the water, but he didn't recognize me when he. uh... Yeah. All right. Now here's a good place to use the uh, auto row. It's right over here. Alright, the, the remaining, the last three monkeys that you can catch are in this, this area right alone. And one of which is actually like a mini boss. Not this guy. This guy I can probably sneak up on. Be very quiet. Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, and we got one more that's over here. And I think this is the last monkey we can get. This is somewhat of like a mini boss. What you gotta do here is very it's actually very simple. You've gotta basically uh you gotta basically hit both of the uh, things there and And then once you do that, just go crazy. And once you do that, a monkey's free, you can catch him. Come on, Spike. Spike! Spike! There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm at 18 minutes. We don't have time to start the next stage, so... Go ahead and sign off here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. It's what keeps me going. And... We will continue with this in the next episode. So, see you then. Also, teleport. <laughs>